Hi, my name is Tina Kane. I'm Poet Laureate of Rhode Island, and I would like to thank everybody at Notable Works for including me in this Earth Day celebration. I really appreciate the invitation, and um, I really support the cause of putting climate change at the forefront of our minds, even during National Poetry Month. So I'm going to share a poem with you to kick off tonight's um, wonderful series of talks. Um, with a poem called Shelter in Place, which I wrote after reading and thinking about the engineering of birds' nests, which are truly a marvel of nature. And it was at the first um, portion of the pandemic, and it was the first poem I wrote during the beginning of this very unprecedented and difficult time on our earth. So it's called Shelter in Place. Shelter in Place. Schools are shuttered, everything is canceled, and my body has become an extension of my house. This shift is strange, but not entirely unfamiliar. The way a cardinal's home is a disordered stick bomb just about captures how I feel. How the mother bird uses her shape as a template to form her nest, shoving sticks together in a fit of random engineering. Randoming would be the verb, I guess, or jamming as it applies to me, a steady state of hysteresis in which applied pressure changes the ensemble, in which the structure bounces back, but not completely. I've been thinking of ways to speak to my children about fear, how to be adaptive. I want to tell them about zebra finches who are content in captivity and who, unlike robins, which favor mud as cement, make their nests from anything they find. Strips of paper or string, fibers from a coconut husk. I want to stress that these elements the finches assemble seem haphazardly placed, but behave collectively. How there's a logic buried deep in the mother building her nest, which is the story of the nature of her body as every child's first home. That we don't struggle alone as the architects of our days that nature will continue to amaze us in ways we don't expect. Thank you.